Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farms. Here we are in the last week of May. Last chance to get stuff planted for this year. And that is why we've gone and bought the Solitaire 12 that was on lease. Not on lease. On, on the used deal. So bought that. That was a huge discount. 12 meters. Had to snatch it up. If we could avoid buying it now, if it came up later on, it would be an ideal, but it's one of those things you can't guarantee. So, we've done some contract work, so what I'm going to do is clue some clips of us doing it, and then we'll explain why we release this out. So the reason why we got the Class Scorpion Tehander out, that's because today we're going to buy a farm. We're going to buy a farm of some variety, including some fields and that. However, we need some fuzz. We need something like quarter meal. So what I'm thinking is, we'll come back to that later on actually. I think we did try to warm the engine up. But I think Let's start off with just go and look for some collectibles. So, obviously, we found a lot of collectibles down by like, Fields 108, that little lane of houses by Fields 1 and the town store sales area. However, in a previous episode, we did find several collectibles with the help of the drone. That's why we've got this out. So we can go get to some places that are a bit hard to reach. For example, this one up here. Boom up. There we go. That's hooked on. Don't know why you got stuck there, but anyways. these collectibles. Got four more of those to find. And there's several more dotted all over the place. But yeah, so the money we need, I want to buy either a court farms a court farm or the home farm. Let's say if we buy this, that's 218 grand. Then I want to buy 48. So that is 518, 527. That is 727. So yeah, we need 300 grand. So if we do that by finding these collectibles. Well, for now, let's turn the time scale back. So we can have a look and see what he's doing. So we're going to follow this path up here. I'm not sure if there's any in the woodlands. I did have a little gander in the woodlands. I can't find anything. But really, these collectibles are found by houses, buildings, and that. Here. See if there's anything to find amongst all this pile of rubble. I'm guessing this used to be a yard of some sort, some variety. But yeah, can't find anything. So let's go back in here. to the next place we've confined. Let's 
So there should be stuff around here somewhere, so go and pull over. Okay, well, let's pull over here for now. Have a quick look. Yeah, I, think, uh, I haven't found anything in these abandoned buildings, but you can never know. Uh, common places you'll find collectibles on this map is around like the back gardens, the backyards. I don't think there's too many on the roofs. I think the ones that are on the roofs are like by the stores and that, or on the store roofs, so... So yeah, you won't find anything on the house roofs. Alright, no, nothing. So, Alright, let's drive around. There we go. Yeah, we'll drive around, go into the actual cell point areas and have a look there. I think if you can buy the farm, you can just buy the fields. Even if you do that, then you know what? I'm happy with that. So, yeah. By the animal dealership now. And let's go and get to drain out a sec. And see if there's anything on these roofs. Nothing on the roofs. Ah, there we go. One over there. So you'll drive around and find that. And is there a second collectible? There's usually two around most areas. None by the rubble. And just doing it this way, it just speeds the process out. Yep, find nothing. Just one on the roof. Oh no, there's two. Ah, there we go. Let's head around there and have a little investigation. Because yeah, we get one grand each. However, if we can find a set, then we get a hundred grand, I think it is. At least that's an educated guess like this. I also don't need the loader now, could just hop on to these other stuff, but. Out. Our tractor, so we're actually very close to actually getting like 200 grand. So that's the two from here. And I think next is go around and just look for any houses. So there's going to be a few jump cuts here and there just to save on the travel time. Man, I'm like. Then just drive around this map, so take an appreciation of just how beautiful, how well detailed this map is. Yeah, yeah, even though I know Court Farm is literally down the road from me, about a half an hour's bike ride away, as I said a few times before. But I just sort of like the realism details are actually, actually nice. Yeah, there are, I'll admit, there are one or two falls with the map. However, as of recording this on Friday afternoon, I have heard there is going to be a little update to Court Farm. I know any updates wasn't going to be like a new game save kind of update, which personally I'm thankful for, but regardless, so uh, I heard is, I can't remember the exact news, but one of them is Bill, Bill. he's doing a UK map, is it? Every sure thing is, top weird. And he's been tweaking the like details because like when you get to winter around here, like ten o'clock in the morning, it's pitch black. That's not realistic and that I can tell you that for sure. That doesn't get daylight till eleven AM and sun goes down at three PM and it's pitch black afterwards. We're not like in the Antarctic or anything or the poles where I should know. Well, actually, I should actually know it's the opposite of that. It's always the daylight in the Antarctic. But you know what I mean. But yeah, so the update is just some little tweaks now. 
the ability to sell some animal pens is what I've heard as well. Oh, one there. So yeah, it's tweaking the sub animal placeables with apparently removing some from the farm so people can place animal pens and they're adding the ability to actually sell some of these animal pens because not all of them you can sell. Like I went round afterwards, I like, you know, sort of set up the series and out, sort of scouting around, do usual things off the ground to see what's what and where's where. But as I found you can like can't sell you can sell to some of the pastures I like the fields and that. But things like the cow sheds and that you can't sell. Over there. Which yeah kinda sucks, I'll admit to that. But at least it's getting round to it. We're actually a bit easy to play some place walls. More animal pens. But me personally, that doesn't affect me too much because maybe something we would have done initially, but we we'll buy a farm and so like if you get court farm, they hold everything. They hold was it a hundred cows? As we sort of just rambling up, looking around, and there's another collectible around here on the back. I think it's around here somewhere, was it? There we go. I really like the colours of them, I think it just only dictates like, the kind of area they're in. I know where we went and collect some south of the map. I know there's going to be a couple of I've missed. But at the time I was... But as you can take it, yes, I was actively hunting for them, of course. But not really in that manner, so... Now, we've got to go straight down here, because I think there's some by these houses. But I think we can go up and down. So, yeah, I think... What we'll do is maybe a little time lapse or just screen recordings of us fighting some of these collectibles and then we'll see where we stand afterwards.
interesting, he went around the entire map and find a decent amount of collectibles. There's a couple of I categories that we only need to find one more. However, I've not been able to find them. It's like the cow and sheep collectible. They need one more. But yeah, been around, scoured around, and can't find any more. Perhaps they'll come up as the snowmen ones, like what we did over the winter last year, or sorry, this year, where we got one up here by the pub. So it may, one may pop up over winter. However, we did find two full sets. So that is 214 grand. So yeah, just over 200 grand we've earned in total. But that still doesn't bring us to where we need to do. So what I'm going to do is go to the pub set because I'm not sure where the bank is around here. Here, no, being around. Around this area, what for almost a year now? Haven't really gone to the bank and that. We've all kept our cash on hand and that. Plus, cash is king. Don't need a bank account or anything. We're just dealing cash, so. I'm just gonna pull over here. Make some inquiries. He find the cider as well. And then we'll see where we stand. So, that was an interesting conversation. Managed to find someone in that and got the information we need. But we got a loan of 475 grand. Bearing in mind, we've got to pay off this loan. We got to pay this loan off plus a 10% interest in the first year. Doesn't mean we have to pay it off in the first year. Year one, so from May 4th of this year, 4th week of May, till next year is 10%. And then every other consecutive year it is a, an additional 5% interest on top. So first year, 10%, 15 and so on. So to pay off the loan in the first year we need to pay 465 grand plus 47.5 grand, so just over half a mil. And that's going to bite us a bit. However, I think this is absolutely needed. So now, let's go buy everything we want. And uh, what's the other ones we're just going to go for? The rapeseed fields. Some other lands we can try to may purchase. But yeah, so that leaves us with just eight six grand left in the bank account bank account or cash. <laughs> so yeah, that is ouch, that hurts. I mean we are hurting. That means we got access to two field bean fields. Two rape seed fields, canola, and a then seed field. However, we do need access to a straw field as well. So maybe when we do some contracts in summer, and that we can get a wheat field. Because I obviously want to get some cows in. Because obviously, we go over here, we've got cows. Horses, rabbits, pigs, and sheep. So I think I head over to our brand new farm and see what everything has to offer. So here we are at the farm, and since we have some money left over, I've decided to, to purchase this caravan site. So now we own this little business. This is going to be a little side hustle for us. All we have to do is just manage this. May get someone on the books and that to help us with this. Just run this as a side project. But we should get about a grand or so a month. 
They're very popular caravans. Especially as we come into the summer. So we should get some extra money coming in for that. That's going to be a long term return on that. So that's the thing. We're all about long term this and that. In the short term, we're going to feed it. But if we have a look, this is all ours. Horses as well. Actually, can we sell this horse pen? Because I think that was one of the things that was going to be included in the update. Actually, we may also get some fuel in over here. Ouch, that is quite expensive. Well, one pound thirty-seven a liter ain't too bad. So I'm thinking, purchase some diesel. Um, not access to a workshop. Plumber full of tools. This is just all storage. But yeah, so I'm gonna look around. That's the cows, so yeah, 50 cows. And I'm thinking, we get some beef cows, get some angle, angles, and some heifer cows as well. Maybe the Holstein ones. Obviously, again, long term, but I think overall it's going to be worth it. So, don't have access to this we got we may need to look about field access and that so let's get to 57 so basically up the track here we also have this area here so maybe we could plow this up I'll put our own crop in There is a gateway to 54 of Grassland, which we don't own. 56 is also beside the yard, so that's where we're standing at the moment. I think, I think we may have access to this pit here, just not to the actual field itself. It's alright, not too worry. But then if you go back up the drone, And then so thinking down the lane and into here. Decent space pulling with the combine in that. And that is essentially a section extension of the home farm. But we owe the fields from the farm. So we bought these off the farmer of the home farm. So we've got that and 45 so so 45 is this field here access is this gate here is there any other access points not from what I can gather just looking at all the entrances one obviously for us now I was coming with our equipment but then also for security purposes. So I think time now is actually get down to some farming, so I think we owe all the equipment. All we technically need now is to head for the combine. But we can lease that for this year. For this year we can just borrow it. So we've got a plow, cultivator, roller, that's one thing we need to do. We need to on this stretch of land over here, so this one here behind us. Got a lot of work to do within just one week. Because obviously, I should may mow this. If we can mow this, get some silage out of it. I think that's actually be a good idea. So if we can get some silage from this before we plow it, we plow, then we've got to either cultivate it or roll it. Now we've got plow, 
then roll the field in, don't need to cultivate it. And the reason for that is we need a good seabed for the crops and that, so obviously the cultivation would work. But obviously I don't think we can cultivate this up, we need to plough it out. Because what crops can we do now? That's going to be also... F Ugh. Not much really, I think really it's going to be sorghum. Sorghum or soybeans. So sorghum we will harvest out in September. Soybeans we will harvest out in October. But then again, we can convert that into a wheat or a barley field, get the winter wheat or the winter barley in. And from that, we can get straw with wheat in that. I don't know, we could maybe start to get some hop in that, so some beer in that. But yeah, what else can we do? We could do field beans again. Do we just go all out on field beans? I think we may do. I think you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do field beans. That is what we'll do. So we need to get some equipment over. Here. So ooh, yeah, that's the thing now. I'll get everything transferred over. So we need to get the mowers over first of all. Get some mowed. And then we'll go from there, I think. So we'll just park up over here by the house. And we'll walk to the dealership. And there we go, so first step is done. We got the field plowed, so we tried to mow, wasn't getting any grass, so we just mulched it and then we plowed it. Now we need to put lime down, which we done by leasing the Breadle. The Breadle FTWS 4000 and a little two ton weight at the front just to help with stability in that. So this shouldn't take too long. Go. So yeah, literally like two passes and this will be done. But yeah, overall, I am happy. Got all the equipment over here, or most of it, Aussie. Well, I'm planning on to, well, get some grass, but that didn't happen. And that's led me on to things like the animals and that. Aussie can plant grass and that, get hay and that. But with all these hay contracts and that, coming about, I thought, heck it, let's just do these hay contracts and keep the bells extra for ourselves. We get money for selling the bells as needed and the extra ones we can just have for ourselves. 
So that's what exactly I've done. And as I say, at a 14 grand contract just popped up. And we're out of line, so. As we were saying. So yeah, I'm gonna do some hay contracts. We accepted three. No one just popped up on field 78. And we're not going to Farmers Market Bell, same with the others. But that size contract, that is tempting. I think we may do it because we just need that bit of cash in, just cover the overhead costs. So I think that, yeah, we've got our farm, but we're still a contracting business, so. I was even need to look out on that. Yeah, just going through the line so quickly. So let's quickly get slowing down. And then we'll roll the field. Get that leveled. And that itself should take too long. Because yeah, it's a, it's a huge 20 meter roller. Obviously we swap the rollers from the motor ones to the field roller. And that should give us a nice smooth service sur service surface to work on. There we go and just a little bit down here. I think that's all the alignment done. And actually, what I didn't know is that what's sort of going through the PDA is even though all the fields seem nice, one thing that's going to affect our yieldage is the density field, field 57, needs ploughing. So, yeah, that will be dealt with at some point. But for now, we need to focus on this, so obviously it's going to affect the yieldage of the lid seed. Can't remember by how much, but nothing we can really do now unless we rip it up and then put something else in. But lid seed, that is ready to harvest anytime from sort of July, so. I'm not sure when that was planted, whether that was in spring or in the fall of last year or summer to fall. But anywho, actually, I do love this KV Max roller. Obviously, you can tell it's used, bits of paint has worn away, but. The okay, K Max. It's looking good, so if we lower this. There we go. And we should be getting a smooth texture, which we are, so if we have a look here. Tell it's rough and bumpy. But over here nice and smooth and the PDA should reflect that so if we head down here see we've got a seedbed so you know what that is exactly what we wanted obviously it's going to be a bit hard to see roughly where we're going you can just about tell the lines now but even if we overlap you know we work out that too much. And I think as well, do we do field beans or do we do just heck it, put grass in? I'm not sure. We'll do it in the next episode, the seeding bit. Try to get it all done today before the light runs out. Yeah, we're going to miss a few bits here and there, but not hit the tree or any power lines. I think I've done the boundary so close to the hedgerow. 
gonna be slightly streaming these. Oops. As I say that, I hit a bleep power line and power pole. There we go. No, just head over left a little bit. Try to get closer if we can, but even if we keep it. I know what's happening, about a meter or so from the edge, then a couple of feet. That's fine. But yeah, so we'll get this done, and I think we'll quickly put an application of fertilizer down, and that's where we'll leave it for today. And there we go, so as you can see, we've also moved most of our, actually all of our equipment over to the farm. What we're going to do with this, I don't know, because we have a look at the PDA. The land itself is only worth 22 grand. It's not really big enough to create a, well it's big, well, it's big enough to create a field, but nothing of substance, so. Yeah, I'm not sure on that part, but well, many think about something we'll do over there. But for now, we just got to bring the last piece of equipment, which is the cross. But yeah, the farm definitely tight. I know before it's tighter before the console version, but I'm glad got enough space as it is. I'm just going. Got our beacons on because we can only do 19 miles an hour, 19 to 20 miles an hour down the road. I'm trying to keep as far as we can so we don't interfere with the traffic. 
especially with the holly makers because you don't know who he may be potential current or future customers or even past customers that may be coming back but yeah I think we made a good choice with this in my situation I think in reality I'm over worrying I'm sure come June and that will be fine but you just don't know for sure but yeah, see, the fill's been rolled and all that, and it also can tell we missed bits of that with the copper stones on the edges. We'll have to be careful of that with the cedar and that. Actually, oh, maybe we should have gone that way. I'll try this way first of all. Actually, we'll stop here. We've also gone and owed up all of the mown stuff, so the mower adds header. We'll pull the wind rower with one of the classes, whilst the other one pulls the trader. So yeah, we'll get those contracts smashed out in the next episode. Now, how good am I at driving? <laughs> in time lapse, um, sketchy in that in places, especially with the big equipment. And the main shed is over there, so... Do we want to drive in? or reverse in. Let's try driving in first of all, so do we even have the clearance? Oof. This is going to be super tight. There we go. Don't hit anything. There we go, we're in. Phew. <laughs> But I think we want to do a Yui here, so that's what we'll do. We'll do it that. How much space have we got? Oh, plenty of space. There we go. Just look in the mirror. Not really much help. I think if we had an actual like reversing camera, if they worked, oh man, I can imagine that with like farms in 25, like actual dynamic and interactive cameras. Okay, not too bad, one damage spell. But yeah, this is going to be our storage for most of our equipment, and I think we'll get most of it in here. Things like this, yeah, we'll move that in. Because we can use these little bays here to store seeds and seeds, lime and all that. But that could be very expensive because we don't need seeds for now. And I will on this series at least avoid as much as I can the cheap pallets of these, like the cheap pallets of fertilizer and all that. If we become desperate, we will. There will be a situation where we may have to buy cheap produce from other farmers in the area. Ooh, tree saplings. Seven grand for that. 240. How much is it for... Because I've got an idea. No, 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 where is it? Two. Thirteen hundreds. So that's another thing. I want to plant some trees, get a plot of land somewhere, a small plot. Big enough to get stuff in, so things like a wheel loader, maybe, or maybe a front loader with forks or some straps and that. But yeah, I am loving this. Like, as the sun's setting. Not many times on camera where we've seen this, but even a cloudy sunset. Absolutely beautiful. The lighting is nice. And I can't wait for the update by Bullet Bill's um, custom lighting edition. All it really affects is the sunsets because, especially in the winter, it goes dark very quickly. Oh, wait a minute. Is that collectible? Oh, I mean, there's a few of those cedars we've missed. I didn't realise that. 
Oh, that's bugging me now, because that, cause that's in there. I didn't really look in like many of these buildings like these. I did not look on the other farms. Like I completely just left them to it. Yeah, I've seen stuff in here. But yeah, so let's take a quick tour of the farm now. Whilst we're going around looking for more collectibles. So the house is over there. Rabbits. That's our main vehicle shed. This. Where we've got a trader is a bunker silo, a enclosed one. So, but even that, we can sort of grain in here, like loose grain. Over here, we've got our workshop in that. Actually, so does any of our equipment need maintenance? Do some quick repairs on those. So, lights. Yeah, decent lights. Shut up. So, fuel storage. I'm guessing we was going to put some equipment in here. These are for like the horses. The horse stables. How so? Let's just get the drone out. Get a better POV for this. So, campsite is over here. The house, We've got the horses over here. This is where the sheep would be. I think the sheep and chickens. A hey, found another collectible. Oh, dang it. I really did not look on the farms and I thought <coughs> they would be there. I had a quick look at that around, and that was just by pure chance that was. One more trader again, another 100 grand. But anyway, so... As we head over here, we've got 56 Aussie we should have access to. But we've got errors over here, so this could be a good... I think like bell storage now, get some bells in that. Because I think even though we can grow up the hay in that... I'm not sure if you can put them into this silo over here. I doubt it. That's the vehicle shed. This is the cow pasture, so... Got straw sh that goes in there. I'll show you go in here. So you've got straw that goes in here. I'm guessing this is like man the manure heap, or... Part of it. Obviously, their feeding is here as well. Open that. So, this is another little bay out. I can imagine just getting myself out of here. Obviously, no equipment can come out of here, really. Look at that. Not sure what this tank's here for. Sure Got a valve and all that. Outlet pipe. I don't think it's like Surrey in that. So I think all like, the Surrey stuff, yeah, it's all over here. So, got two points there. We move the tank over there because when we do get cows, I thought, heck it, just leave it there and that. And then, yeah, back around, rabbits. Got pigs over here. Heck, even got a sweet little pond. Nice. Access around here. Wait a minute, this could be a good little wooden area. You know, cut, cut some, some of these trees down. Find another collectible. That, that was over here somewhere. Yeah, I was like, ugh. Ah, oh, there we go. Do we pay that loan back? I'm not sure. Well, we'll wait until after harvest to see where we stand after harvest. Because we do need a lime spreader in there. Yeah, we can lease one out. But there are some cheap ones. So, going over here. Heck, I even gonna say trade that in and get one of these. 
but then again, no, get one of these. No, that that's the unrealistic version. That's one thing I ain't gonna do on this series. It's like have unrealistic equipment. So. No, something like that. Okay, have something like that for fertilizer, and then like one of these for lime. Not that one, but one of these brittles. So twelve to eighteen meters. That's being beaters. I really do want. Oh, like these would be good. The wind rower and beater. Again, they're so damn expensive. Again, I'm gonna go with like the setable, even though the SBS stuff or SBC were nice. I don't think we'll go with those. I think if you're gonna go for modern stuff, something like this: big old Heston Bader and a wind rower. But I think we would need a small one. Even like something like these, a Pottinger, that's like decent size, but it's a hundred grand. I may have a look around, around the market now, look in the brochure. Again, it doesn't have to be all class and that. It's one of those things, is much as like, yeah, class is nice. Other brands are available. Hashtag not sponsored by class. But hey, if Klaus is watching, uh, go on my channel, look at my email address and feel free to email me if you want to support the ship. Ah, uh, you're joking on that, ain't gonna happen anytime soon. But yeah, so anyways, that is where we're going to leave it today, whilst we enjoy this sunset. Can't enjoy it for too long though, because we've got seeding to do, but with the 12 meter seeder, it ain't going to take too long. I think literally we'll get us done within an hour or two. Mainly to also roll the seed into the ground. And again, have a look at getting some more of these stuff in, so more liming and all that. But that's going to be for a future episode or two. So, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, throw a freaking down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But first you do, hope and I say. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.